Hey everybody, what happens when you're on your app and the GPS navigation fails you? What do you do? Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Russ and on my channel, the Russ Ride channel, I give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings primarily as a food delivery driver. So tell me, has this happened to you? It happened to me today. I was headed to Subway and all of a sudden I'm ending up in some residential area and I'm not familiar with the areas, but I knew something's not right. Has this happened to you? In this case, I was on Uber Eats and I didn't really know the area, but I quickly figured out maybe I'm going to the customer's address first before picking up the food. I wasn't quite sure. So I pulled over, I took a screenshot of everything. As you can see here, you know, I, I thought maybe it was the customer's home. And to fix it, I asked uh, Siri to help me on that one. Hey Siri, please take me to... Getting directions to... I looked up the restaurant address. This one happened to be Subway. And I put it in as a separate entry into my Waze. And that way I knew I could get to the restaurant okay. As it turns out, it was just a mistake in the GPS. The restaurant was showing like it was located in a residential neighborhood about a half mile away. Obviously that's wrong. It's a glitch on Uber's part, but I knew it was gonna be recoverable because I just needed to go to the restaurant and pick up the food. This has happened to me one time before where the address of the restaurant was wrong and it was for Uber Eats as well. Um, so that when I called customer support then, they didn't help me, um, and I won't get into that. But even now I knew it doesn't really matter. It's just a half mile away for the restaurant. Now, if this was for a customer, this is a different issue. If you've already picked up the food and then you go to the customer's address that they put in and it turns out to be wrong, we're not required to deliver it somewhere else. And this is when you should call support and request help and either they'll pay you more to take it where it needs to go if you choose to do so, or many times you get to keep the food and enjoy a nice lunch or dinner. In my case though, thankfully I was close by and it wasn't that big a deal to find the restaurant and go there directly and just ignore what the app was telling me. So this is gonna be something you need to think of. If you're in an area that you don't know, pull over, stop, and find a way to navigate to the restaurant that you need to go to. If you happen to be in your market, you know, a place you're familiar with, then obviously you don't need to do that. But I would still recommend pulling over and carefully looking through to see what's going wrong. Obviously, anytime your GPS is telling you something different than what you feel should be right, it's probably wrong. And that's a warning sign that you should take the time to figure it out and don't make things worse by driving on, or worse, having an accident because you're not paying attention and distracted by the GPS directions that are sending you the wrong way. So what can you do to keep this from happening to you? Before we get into that, let's hear a word from our sponsor, and that would be me, Russ, the delivery driver. Have you checked out that video that I made of the Boblov M5 body camera? Well, let me tell you, this is a very helpful body camera and dash cam, and it's pretty sturdy. It works really well. And uh, check out the video I made. It's quite extensive. I took everything that I could think of that you would want to know when buying a camera, and I tried to think through that deliberately and then film an example of everything that I discussed in there. That way you can make a sound decision if you want to buy this for yourself as well. And you may have fun watching that. You may notice someone gets tased at night. <laughs> All right, let's get back to that video. So how can you keep this from happening to you? The main thing is to pay attention to everything that's going on be careful, don't just rush around doing orders. Take the time anytime you get an order. I personally take screenshots of it. That way if something happens in the app, I still have the information. And that obviously in the beginning is the restaurant information. And then when I pick up the order, I screenshot everything for the customer's address. Because you know what, there's times that GPS, the cell service fails you 
and you can't connect with the app and that's very frustrating because you don't know the address of the customer. We're so reliant on our phones. So take the time to think carefully, what if I lose service and I can't finish the order? Is there a way that you can protect yourself by doing screenshots so that you can get that food to the customer? Something to think about. And then second, as I've already mentioned, uh, to keep this from happening to you, just pull over as soon as possible when you feel something's going wrong and figure it out before you get back on the road. Please share in the comments below, has this happened to you? And please be specific. Was it a restaurant issue that you couldn't find the restaurant or the customer's address was wrong? Please share and tell me how you handled that situation. It's time for me to get back out there. I have done one corner shop order today and they are paying very well, so I take those. And I'm mixing it in with food delivery. I've done one Uber Eats and I am uh, also doing Instacart and I had a couple orders for that. So I'll catch you in my next video. I'm gonna get out there and make some money. It's the weekend, prime earning times for me working the day shift. All right, take care everybody and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.